can withstand the temptations of this world when I realize that I'm blessed. Let the book tell you. When you meditate on the word of God day and night, look what God said you should be like. And he shall be like a tree planted. Oh, y'all not here. See, he ain't so easily moved by every wind and dark. It takes a whole lot of work to uproot a tree. When, when the word of God say be what? Rooted and grounded in love. And, and see, not only that, he, he, you know, look what he said. And he should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in who sees it? His seed. You can wait on the Lord. That don't mean you sit down and do nothing. You, you, you bind his kufar. You tie yourself to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm with you, even though I don't understand. And I'm going to show you how much I'm with you. I'm going to tie myself to you. Now listen, listen, listen. See, see, if you want them other leaves over there for the healing of the nation, his leaves shall also not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Emphatic. No doubt about it. We're about through now. About to, listen to this. Listen to this. Ooh, no. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drive away. Now, I'm not, I'm going to ask you to read Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Everybody ought to know that, boy. But now I'm going to give you some things that you need to know. I'm going to just hit them just like this and read them, and then we're about through. You can get through a few more, we're out of here. Let's, let's do something right quick. Let's go Psalm 37. Y'all, I'm going to make sure y'all hear this now. Psalm 37. Psalm 37, verse 22. And everybody got it, won't say amen. Here we go. Now see, see everybody know that one. But do they know this one? For such as be. Remember, it's up to you. Now listen to this now. Listen, listen, I want you to do it now. This is what you need to know about being. He said, for such as be blessed of him, what's going to happen to him? Shall inherit the earth. They said, I'm about no jetpacks, is it? Okay, I'm going to leave that. And they that be cursed of him shall be what? Cut out. Ain't that plain enough? Any child don't understand that? And see, all of us got to let the world tell us how to dress and how to spare means fine. Mean you looks good. You see what I'm saying? And one thing about God loves us, because if he didn't, he wouldn't do this. I, I share, it's Psalm 45 and 2. Look what it says. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Mean you look better. Your countenance is better. You walk in a room, you bring a radiant glow of God when you come. Doesn't matter what you look like physically. Had nothing to do with it. Some of us are some beautiful people. But when you walk in with both, you are, what did our boy you say? You die on oh my. But see, you've heard some folks, I don't care how fine, they're still ugly. Mm -hmm. They call them divas. Everybody know what that means. And, and just like that, Adonis got so wrapped up in his own reflection, he fell in the river and drowned. Fair than the children of men. What else? God said, why are you that way? Because grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God, not nothing else on this earth, hath blessed thee, how did he do it? Forever. Do you know that as a blessed of God? If you want, as, as, you ought to know that. Psalm 84, y'all with me? 84, 84, we're going to go 4, 5, and 12. we almost finished now. Now see, a lot of us don't like coming to church. This is the last place we want to come. But look what happens when you come to church. Look at look, it. Look. It says, Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Wee. Now that word dwell means that not only when you dwell in here, it's high and lifting up. The etymology of that word is tabernacle. When you come in here with a willing heart, 
not only do you come in here to meet him, he leaves with you. Because he says, I want the tabernacle with you. I want to dwell in you. What is your body? The temple for the Holy Spirit. You walk out of here messed up because your mind was not focused on him. He said, you dwell, if you dwell in here, I'll dwell in you. Yes, Lord. And look, 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 I like this next statement here, because y'all might run out of here. See, everybody, if you want to see some sad sight, just walk out in the church. Just get out in front of the church, just watch what come out of it. But that's not how God said we're supposed to be. But look here. He said, blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will... Be still praising thee, Salah. Think about it. When you walk out the door, you ought to still have a joy at all in you. Because you what? You're blessed. You, I don't care what you're going through. I can't hide it, but I'm blessed. Didn't anybody hear the Lord? Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I know I'm, I'm strong. No, you're not. The Bible says here, blessed is the man whose strength is in thee. You got to get a hold of that church on the line. Whatever your problem is, and don't think we are, whatever your little idiosyncrasies are, whatever you can't manage, all you got to do is realize I'm blessed because he said, turn it over to him. See, too many times we, we read the Lord say, cast your cares upon and pray, ask the Lord, and then Instead of you letting the spirit go out with you, you say, well, I guess I better pick this up. Take it back. I think I can still handle it better than God. Then you say, your strength is in you. Don't be telling that God made a mistake. Uh, I need to be saved over again. He said, don't say that. Please, baby. That's like re-crucifying him over again. All he ever asks us to do is repent. Don't think Jesus ever, because now you can lose your, you know, some folks, you, you, you lose it. When Jesus saved you, he did it well. You don't have to do it no four or five times. All you got to do is repent. Why can't you repent? Because you're blessed. And when you're blessed, you can go to him just like you are. You did it the first time. Why can't you do it now? Now listen now. In whose heart are the ways of and whose heart are the ways of I'm going to read that again. And whose heart. In other words, you got that word so marinating in you and, and understanding. Now, I, I know I know when I was out there in the street, I, 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 I used to like this here. And if you get in the middle of the, that air, and you don't ask that word to start marinating inside of you, it's still on the track. You still can tell you with it. But now you let his way, Lord, you have to do that. It's your strength. It's in my heart. And then I start operating like him and not myself. Verse 12, and y'all, you more we do. Verse 12, O oh Lord of hosts, O oh Lord of hosts, Blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Just that simple. Not in this preacher, the East preacher. Trust in the Lord. All I've ever asked you to do, and they did, is follow me as I follow Christ. Just that simple. Psalm 89, verse 15. Uh, see, y'all y'all think, I, I, I'm going to let the word tell you. See, there's, there's no reason for you to walk out of here like it just left. A, a deaf leopard concert or something. I shouldn't even say that, but that's crazy. Some of them concerts, boy, y'all come out of there acting like, Whoa! they come out there like that. But God says here, 89, blessed is the people that know, what's that? Know the joyful sign. You know when you hear that anointing. You don't judge anybody, but he said, judge the tree by the fruit it bad. You're not shouting. You shout because 
that joyful noise gets on the inside of you. There's some folk, I mean, I have nothing 